Oh my god, why are you putting dirt in a keyboard? Stop, please. No, don't put dirt in a- No! Ahem, <clears throat> howdy hey, I'm Hippio Tech, and I'm hopelessly congested. I mean, I have an excuse for what's going on. I've got one of the most expensive keyboards I've ever purchased, and I'm putting plants in it. You're probably thinking, why? Hippio, you're insane. You've gone, you're completely unhinged. What's going on? Well, don't worry. I've got thalky switches. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm still me. And whatever the hell this is, I'm... Oh, this is gonna be a bad one. Anyways, I put a garden in my keyboard. Yes, a real succulent garden. And this keyboard is made out of marble. Yeah, like the, the expensive marble. If you have no idea what's going on, no idea about keyboards, no idea about anything, then stick around. But first, let's start with the keyboard. A little bit of backstory, but I don't want to waste your time. So, I love plants, like, a lot, and I also love keyboards, like, a lot. I figured why not combine the two of those things, and that's what we're going to do today. In a completely unhinged manner. Now, this project is actually quite a long time in the making, because I had to custom order a keyboard. And it costs 625 bucks, but we'll get into that pretty soon. Now, I can hear you, you're probably wondering, how did I get all this money to make this cool keyboard? Well, earlier this weekend, I was at PAX West, and I had the chance to secure a sponsorship. This segment of the video is sponsored by Samsung, and stay to the end for an extra howdy hey. When I was at PAX, I had the opportunity to check out Samsung's new gaming screen, the Samsung Odyssey Arc. Now I know what you're thinking, a gaming screen, big whoop. Well, I was actually surprised as well. The Odyssey Arc is a 55 inch, 1000 R curved screen. I honestly still don't know what the R means. But what's even more significant is that it's 4K, 165 hertz, with only a millisecond of lag. Oh, and uh, did I mention it does this? The Odyssey Arc has a cool feature called multi-view, where you can literally have multiple screens on the same screen. What? Hippio, that's insane. Well, it's actually all made possible by the Arc dial. Check this thing out. It's a control center for the Odyssey Arc and honestly is really great to use. And the vertical screen actually has a use for some games like Rocket League. Check out the Marquez Brownlee video for that. It's pretty cool. And I got the chance to play Spider-Man on it. And let me tell you, Spider-Man has never looked so pretty. If you're interested in the Samsung Odyssey Arc, which you know I am, then click the link down in the description to pre-order it and you will get a $200 gift card for future purchases. Now this offer is expiring fast though, so seriously, click the link down in the description. You better go fast. Howdy, hey, if you watch this whole thing, by the way. Howdy, hey. And howdy, hey to Samsung for sponsoring this segment. And back to the video. Anyways, you probably forgot where you were, or you just skipped forward, shame on you. And now we're unboxing a pyramid Illuminati charm. Oh yeah, no, this is straight up just the Illuminati. This is actually an artisan keycap from Quarry Keys. It's made out of polished aluminum, I'm assuming. I actually did not do any research on this. And it looks pretty cool. However, you're not gonna see it for the rest of the video. So say goodbye, Mr. Illuminati, bye. Anyways, now it's time to get into the keyboard itself. Right after we get into the uh, stuff below it, hee <laughs> hee. So this is the Quarry K60. And each one is uniquely handmade. Handmade by machines, I guess, like CNC machines. But like the, the marbles handpicked. Anyways, I'm throwing away those instructions and uh, just kidding, I'm picking them back up. I'm gonna need them later. Sorry, I got uh, attachment issues. Speaking of attachment, attach your eyes to this incredibly nice felt case. There's knit case. Um, it's very nice, very soft. You could definitely put uh, a keyboard in there. Whoa, there's a keyboard in there. That's insane. So as I mentioned before, this keyboard cost me $625 to get custom made. It's the Quarry K60 from Quarry Keys. You're probably wondering why did it cost that much? And honestly, uh, my best guess is that they're a very small batch. It's a small business and it's made out of solid marble, guys. Also, I had to get a custom machine to fit the plants and I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But let me just stop and say, this is one of the most beautiful keyboards I have ever seen. Now, I'm a big marble simp, like I, I straight up had marble dbrand skins on my phones for like nine years. So when I saw that they were making these keyboards, I had to get one. Also made in Canada, nice. You can see the natural veins of the marble, kind of like me when I'm really dehydrated. And overall, the craftsmanship on this is 10 out of 10. Granted, they made it knowing they were sending it to me. So I mean, there wouldn't be any QC issues probably. And wait, what's that? What is that? There's, there's a smudge on the back of my- Oh my god, it's a Hippio logo, what? Sorry, uh, back to chill, back to chill. Yeah, they custom engraved my little hippo guy. I'm thinking of enamel filling it. If you know how to enamel fill things, leave a comment down below. 
I need help. Speaking of help, um, let me help you look at the top of this keyboard to see the pen rail. You're probably thinking, that is a very deep pen rail. What are you doing, Hippio Senpai? Well, don't worry, we'll talk about that later. Now, because this is a keyboard, we need a PCB. The PCB is sold separately, uh, and by separately, I mean you kind of just have to find one that'll work with it. Now, I got a couple recommendations from the Quarry Keys guys, but I needed one like ASAP, so I kind of just YOLO'd it and purchased the Nice 60. And also, no, you're not installing switches right now, we need to install stabilizers. Now, if you're new to keyboards, these stabilizers have been lubed. This is what keeps your spacebar, enter key, backspace, etc. from getting too rattly. But I won't waste your time. And you're probably thinking, Hippio, there's a bug on your desk. There's a bug. No, those are switches. They are not bugs. Maybe you guys are unhinged today. These are the Gateron or Gateron Oil Kings. Incredibly hyped switch. Some say thocky, some say clacky. I say uh, check out the link down in the description below to buy them with my affiliate uh, stuff. There you go. The switches have been hand lubed, so don't worry about that, even though it's kind of unnecessary. And now everybody at home, uh, oh, I was gonna give you a switch installation tip, but they're already installed. Now, I have a special trick up my sleeve, so I'm gonna remove all of these standoffs that were conveniently pre-installed for me. That was so nice of them, and oh, what's this? No, this is not a jump rope for very, very tiny people. This is a gasket. God, honestly, that's, that's kind of insensitive of you. Now, you're probably thinking, what is a gasket? Well, I'm going to wrap this around my PCB and plate in hopes that it gives my keyboard a soft, dampened typing experience. But quickly I will learn the only thing it will give me is a massive headache. Which I already had because I came back from PAX with a cold. Yeehaw. Anyways, I wasn't entirely sure whether or not this solution would work, so I kind of just stuffed it in there with a lot of force. Now, assuming that I am just perfect and totally incapable of- Oh god, why is it doing that? That's- that's not good. Well, I am not perfect and, uh, capable of many things, so we're gonna come back to this part later. Also, really cool feature, the little USB port is magnetic and can come off. I don't know why that's like the way it is, but it's cool. So, yeah. Speaking of cool, it's ice cream and delight. Oh, it's my keycap set, Infiniki Delight, that I'm going to be putting on this keyboard. Now, Infiniki Delight is a dessert-based keycap set that if it's in stock, I'll put the link down below, but it's probably sold out. Uh, it's one of my keycap sets I developed, but it's also green and very calming. So I was like, you know what, this will work. Ooh, RGB, RGB is good. I did not realize I bought an RGB. Oh God, what is going on here? Oh dear God, no. All right, so you know how I mentioned that the gasket solution would give me a headache? Well, the headache is here, the headache has arrived. Leave a comment, hey Hippio, I hope your headache is great. Leave a like and subscription for headache time. Anyways, um, my cut there was pretty bad, but unfortunately the stabilizers that I used just don't work with this type of gasket. I needed to use a different type of stabilizer. So I there's no work around here except different stabilizers and I don't have any of those, so I'm gonna have to install the standoffs again. This is just half the fun of building a keyboard though. I hope you guys are enjoying the keyboard build process of this video. The plant process is coming up quite soon. Hmm, hmm, no, no. Well, something you might have noticed is that this keyboard sounds incredibly hollow and not very good like this. But this is a Hippio Tech video. We will not let that happen. Probably, maybe. What are you tearing up, my guy? What is going on? So this is a rug thing, a non-slip rug bottom thing. I'll link it down below. I bought one of them. It's usually really big and you have to like cut it down to size to fit your rug. So then I had scraps of it just laying around. I was like, you know what? I need to put this in a keyboard. That would probably be pretty good. So I cut down some dampening. I stuffed it in the keyboard. I used an X-Acto knife to kind of cut it down to work. And there we go. It's a built keyboard. Now it's going to sound way better than what you just heard, but I'll save that for right at the end. Normally this is the point of a Hippio Tech video where I'm like, oh great, the keyboard's built. But wait, look down at the timer. There's still time left. Yeah, you're still in a video that involves filling keyboard with dirt and succulents and stuff. I'm only half unhinged. We're only halfway. And actually this is one of the first 60% I've built in like more than a year. And yeah, I remember why. It's literally about as big as my 75% that I use every day, but I'm sacrificing so many keys. Like practically, I don't think I'll be using this thing very much, but this ain't practical, baby. He's pulling out the dirt and the succulents. 
Now, I've had this succulent for quite a long time. I got it from Trader Joe's. Oh, but a little baby fell off. And I had the idea to cut this pen rail as deep as humanly possible so that I could fill it with succulents. Now, I tried a couple of different solutions and clearly just placing the succulents in by themselves was not going to work. So I I'm gonna have to think of something different here. Hold on. Beep boop, Hippio Tech back here. I thought of something different. I'm going to pour out some of the succulent soil onto a paper plate and gently spoon the soil. Now, if you'd like to be gently spooned, please leave a comment and hit subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm putting dirt in a keyboard. I have to be really careful here not to actually spill any dirt into my keyboard as that would suck. The best way to get a scratchy sounding keyboard is to put dirt in it. MX Browns, am I right gamers? <laughs> now the plant people in the comments are probably like, Hippio, this has no drainage. All of your succulents are gonna die. Um, anyways, I tried to find an incredibly high drainage soil and I'm gonna use a lot of rocks to kind of help them out just a little bit. But first I have a lot of dust on my desk. Please help. There is so much dirt and dust on my desk. Now quickly, here's my plan. I have this very nice succulent plant that I've been growing for the last month or so that I purchased from Trader Joe's. This is the perfect candidate as he's incredibly overgrown and you see all those little strands? Those are roots that I'm going to use to kind of seed them into my little keyboard. This should mean that they eagerly take hold and won't, oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're literally just popping off as I grab them, so that's pretty nice. Now, I've never made a succulent arrangement before. I just like houseplants. Um, I like keeping them alive. It's kind of fun. It's a new hobby of mine. If you guys want to see houseplant content, leave a comment. But I wanted to pick off the fanciest and nicest little bunches so that I could do a succulent arrangement. Now, this might just look like I took a weed whacker to the thing, but there's a method to this madness, I promise. And then next, I just had to mentally prepare myself for maybe an hour or two of installing succulents. My general method here was take tweezers, struggle, take tweezers, struggle, take some tweezers, and struggle. I have never felt more like a monkey. My hands are just too big for working at this scale. But after a little bit, I kind of got two little guys standing up and I thought they looked very cute and I got more inspired. So I was ready to go, I'm, I'm freaking ready. I was playing some RuneScape. I found the inspiration inside of me, I was, ready to install more succulents with no issues whatsoever. Look at this guy, he looks like a little broccoli. Now, I got these nice little rocks from Amazon as I thought they kind of matched my keycap set, and I was ready to install them to kind of prop up the succulents. This is gonna give everything a very nice, uh, polished, finished, not unprofessional type look. Yes, I know it's not focused on what I'm doing. Please forgive me. Anyways, I'm gonna use some magic real fast. Uh, it, magic, come on, that, that really? Sorry guys, it's been a bit since I've used some magic. I went on a two week vacation and you probably didn't notice because I still was uploading. But just like that, I turned this little keyboard into a succulent arrangement. Now you're probably thinking, Hippio, it looks a bit odd, but look at it from the top. That was my goal. From the top, we're using it, it looks very nice. Now, it's gonna take a little bit for these guys to get settled, and I'll definitely post some updates on my Instagram and Twitter, so follow me on there, at Hippiotech. Place your bets in the comments whether or not they're gonna die. My method for watering them is just a very, very light spray bottle. I just wanna get the roots kind of wet, but not too wet that they rot. Normally I would not spray towards my keyboard, but I'm trying to get it on camera, be quiet. Now, I need to be very careful not to overwater these guys, as underwatering them is always preferred when they have literally no drainage. But overall, I built a keyboard, it's made out of marble, it has amazing keycaps, it has amazing switches, and it's going to sound even more amazing. You don't believe me, do you? Now, I'll leave you guys with the sound test, and it's going to have the no succulents and with succulents. Please watch the whole thing to support my YouTube algorithm overlords, please, otherwise they won't let me eat.